The sword is a metaphor. Can you guess what that metaphor is? She picked up that electronic pen and tried to write in something else. Let's see. She had written, who was Teddy Roosevelt? Well, you need to add the T. <laughs> you, oh, that, I see. <laughs> this week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by SpaghettiOs. Because I have a feeling this movie might be a, uh-oh. My nephew used to say that. He was so cute when he did. I thought you were going to finish my, uh-oh. SpaghettiO. We don't have to just want to win. Look, we got to need it. We got to want it. To so win? Yeah. Okay, let's open those playbooks. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Hold on. Crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Allie. And Brooke. Thanks so much for tuning into this brand spanking new episode of Two Freckled Friends. If you enjoyed SpaghettiOs as much as we did when we were kids, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tapping on that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications. As to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends, this week, I can't lie to you, neither can Brooke. <laughs> I ain't seen this movie. <laughs> ain't seen it. Which is how white people love their steak, rare. This is Disney too, this is rare for me to not have seen it. Brooke, why don't you tell the good folks out there why I'm afraid because of what we're watching this week. Y'all, we are watching one of Disney's lost animated films, 1985, The Black Cauldron. Now let me tell you, I used to go to my Aunt Maddie's house. Maddie's oh, had all the kids, hold on. Hell. She used to always have a bunch of kids running around, right? I'm not playing with Coley, huh? I thought he was your best friend. I could have sworn I saw this VHS laying around her house somewhere. But my cousin Rebecca was like, no, we didn't have it. Is it worth money now? And I'm about to tell her, girl, ain't nobody checking for this movie. Has anybody watched this movie from beginning? To what is this movie about? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because nobody talked to me about nothing no more. I'm excited and scared at the same time. But if you're brand new to us, what we're going to do is Brooke and I will watch The Black Cauldron. We'll give our own individual thoughts and from those thoughts we will provide this movie with its official freckle score. They don't even look like Disney. I was about to say it too. Oh, don't hate little bro. Celebrate. Without further ado, the 1985 animated family classic Disney's The Black Cauldron. Let's roll it. Girl, I'm looking at the animation. It's starting at a two out of five freckles. It don't look like 85. It looked like 55, but okay. I say, sir, I like your tie. A bit loud, but I'll take it. Three, two, one, play. Why do I hear nothing from you? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Castle. So instead of getting a Spectrum internet, which is fast and reliable 24-7, you got us internet that can be blocked by walls. Yes. Legend has it, in the mystic land of Predain, there was once a king so cruel and so evil that even the gods feared him. He was thrown alive into a crucible of molten iron. There, his demonic spirit was captured in the form of a great black cauldron. The black cauldron lay hidden while evil men searched for it. Whoever possessed it would have the power to resurrect an army of deathless warriors. You better give me good sword and the stone energy or you getting a two out of five. I was gonna say that title screen was all right. This is looking a lot like the dwarves cottage got renovated. They got a second story, a third story. Oh, it's adorable. Just like a doll's house. Something wrong. Okay, this looks oh, Disney-esque. The Horned King, that black-hearted devil. Oh, he looked like the old guy from Aristocats. Adelaide! My, my dear. This does not look 1985. The pot is boiling over, Taran. Dolben, I was just thinking. Can you get the pot? Just gonna let it boil over? War isn't a game. But I'm not afraid. Ouch! If the Horned King ever returns, you'll have a great deal more to worry about. That is not for you, it's for Henwin. It's always Henwin. One day, my boy, you may learn why. Cat, you're in luck. Just enough left for you. Mm. Y'all don't season y'all's food. I'm sorry, guys. I need a moment. 
I'm not a little boy anymore. I should be doing heroic deeds for Prydain, not waiting hand and foot on a spoil. Hey, I didn't mean it. Barry Wilbur-esque. Now take that pig outside where it belongs. <laughs> Since when does Wilbur get to be picky about what they get? He's vegan. Is this to be my life? Pampering a pig? I'm a warrior. How does he know he's a warrior? And I could be a famous warrior. I can do it. Ha! Don't hurt the pig. There you are. His Majesty the Horned King. Uh, that sounds like the devil. I'm gonna flirt with the devil. Show him a little bit of shoulder. How you doing? He gonna start looking away, I'm gonna start twerking. The famous Tarrant of Castle. <laughs> Pridane's finest warrior. You should have knocked your ass out. Okay, so I'm assuming Pridane is where they live. Taran is his name. He a country boy that wants city life. Quite the blade for a Why are his eyebrows green? Another dream, Taran. She's a special big Taran. <laughs> a work of art. You should be on a pedestal. <laughs> I'll give her a nice bath. Yeah. Hey, come on, Hen. What's the matter? No. What's wrong with the pig? There's something wrong with Henry. Quickly, Dad, bring her inside. I never use her powers unless I have to. Now, I must. And I, oh, powers? Darren, what you are about to see, you must never reveal to anyone. And when from you I do beseech knowledge that lies beyond my reach, troubled thoughts weigh on your heart. Pray you now, those thoughts impart. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. That's a super pig? But it's like a baby pig. The Horned King is searching. Uh, the Black Cauldron. The Black Cauldron? If the Horned King should find it, nothing could stand against him. That's Henwin! He knows. Stop! Get up! Hold up! What do you mean? must leave here at once. Take Henwin to the hidden cottage at the edge of the Forbidden Forest. Never bring her out until I come for you. Only I knew the secret of Henwin's power. The Horned King has discovered it. I'm not afraid of the Horned King. Then you are a very foolish lad. Untried courage is no match for his evil. Off you go, my boy. So, why are we all going together? Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, why is just the boy going? Dorothy! Nikki, let's go! How did the Horn King find out about the pig being powerful? How much so soon rest on his young shoulders? But the Horn King, that's symbolism for the devil. Are you uncomfortable? No, I'm very intrigued. <laughs> you are a dark child. Do you guys mind if I sit with you? Oh, this shit is dark. No face? That's you, dark as hell. You will worship me. <laughs> How long I have thirsted to be a god. I never knew you could create visions and things like that. I thought you were just an ordinary pig. Ordinary Why pig? Why do you think you didn't eat him in winter? But it's a small ass pig. Like this is still a baby pig. Girl, I still see a rack of ribs. Don't play me. My girl left me. Could you send out a tune? I want my baby back, baby back, Killy, baby back, 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 baby the greatest warrior in all today. Playing pretend he's the greatest warrior. Kids using their imaginations. You lost a pig? Henwin? He's a daydreaming ass kid. Henwin? Oh no! It's Calic. Hen? Henwin! The pig got away that quickly. Yeah, have a good day. Look what I've got. Here's a lovely what is that? Keep poor starving Googie munchings and crunchies. Need it up with her. Hey, no you don't. I didn't give you that apple. You took it. Ow! Hold on, you hairy little thief. Give it back. It looks like the Lorax. They say I'm a fool to oppose things like these, but I'm going to continue to 
speak for the trees. The apple, where is it? Where's the freaking pig? You want to touch the apple now? You could have ate the joint roll. three times. Bitch. Alex sausage. Alex sausage. You horrible, greedy thing. Deserves fierce smackings and whackings on his poor tender head. Lord, he's what's his name? Dobby. Dobby. Dobby, please stop. Oh, stop that sniveling. Have you seen my pig? Googie Nazi Piggy. Nope. No telling where Hemwin is by now. Master, now Googie remembers. Yes, yes, Googie will find the lost piggy and we'll be friends forever. It's Hemwin. She's in trouble. Goodbye. Hemwin. Dragons? Thing ain't even been on 15 minutes. He already lost the pig. Henry, I must get her out of there. <laughs> Not going there. Forget the piggy. Gogi, come back to be your friend. Why? You ran away when I. I promised Dorbin I would keep Hen safe. I have to go. Are you coming? It's a terrible place. You're just a, a miserable coward. This Why would it be a friend? Child. This is all you wanted. Oh. This is dark. Brooke. Yes. Oh, oh no, bitch. Go, don't. All right. Might as well make our rounds. Yeah, it's definitely giving me sword in the stone. Just because you can't understand something, it doesn't mean it's wrong. Ten more demerits. I'm gonna try my best to make it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, what the world? Uh. Oh, you know what? You haven't finished Ragnarok yet. My name is. What? No, I. Oh, Lord, what the hell is happening? Welcome, Your Majesty. We're just celebrating our success. That's a lot of wine in there. Bring in the prisoner! Oh no. This is the thing that creates vision. Show His Majesty where the black cauldron can be found. Damn! <laughs> Show us, swine! The king's patience is short! No! Damn! Get back, or I'll. Really, <laughs> Sam? Instructs her to show me the whereabouts of the black cauldron. Why? Wow. I can't. I promised. In that case, the pig is no use to me. Uh, what's that? Quarter ribs? I'm not the pig! No, not the pig! Stop! I'll make her tell you. Boys, men can't keep a word for shit. I'm awake now. <laughs> Cause you mad, you mad at men. That's what woke your ass up. The black cauldron, so it does exist. Oh, it's a skeleton, you see? Ah! Ah! Come on, hen! Get them! They need women there. Women would calm down all that overly masculine energy. Ha, ah, ham hock. He was able to put that down by himself. The moat, it's our only chance. It's our only chance. Swim, Hen, swim! I'm coming! <gasps> I caught the boy! You let the pig go, didn't you? Throw the boy into the dungeon. I won't fail you, Dorbin. Get cozy. 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 So cozy. <laughs> Do it. What the fuck was that? That was weak as shit. Whoa, what's this? Excuse me? I thought I heard a noise in here. Who the fuck is she? Who the fuck is she? You're being held a prisoner, aren't you? Yes. I've been held against my will, too. It lights up. It's magic. Who are you? 
I'm Princess Alonwi. Are you a lord or a warrior? I I'm an assistant pig keeper. Oh, what a pity. Wah, wah. Ah! So hoping for someone who could help me escape. But you have magic. You can't yeah. escape with magic? Yeah. Oh, that wicked, wicked king. You know he stole me. He thought my bauble could tell him where some old cauldron was. That's what he wanted my pig for. My pig can tell the future. Ooh, how interesting. We deal with them rats in New York. A burial chamber. You've been there how long? You just now finding it. <gasps> He must have been a great warrior. A sword. So I was reading up on it, and apparently this is based off of a series of books based off Welsh mythology. Let's get out of here before they come back. Where did you get that sword? Well, he's not going to use it. I, I sing. <laughs> I, I entertain. These are the hands of an artist. You seem an intelligent sort of chap to me. He looks like the old man from the beginning. I'm Fluna Flam, minstrel of minstrels, balladeer to the grandest cocks in all the land. Oh, it, it called bullshit. I smell something. Bullshit. Hey! Look at that! We've been discovered! Run! Make haste! I must save myself! Oof. Damn, Lord, you stay, Miss. She left your ass. You took too long. <laughs> Pig boy! Yes. Ooh. Come on, you wanna be a warrior? Fight back! The magic sword. <laughs> Are you alright? I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh, he just feels invincible now, don't he? <laughs> the sword is a metaphor. Can you guess what that metaphor is? She picked up that electronic pen and tried to write in something else. Let's see. She had written, who was Teddy Roosevelt? Well, you were to add the T. <laughs> you, oh, that, I see. <laughs> Power lies inside of you. Men always needing something, some extension, <laughs> to make themselves seem larger than what they are. Get them! How are they getting out of this castle like this? How did I not get this? How are they, how are they still alive? No cuts. <laughs> they just letting them run out? Run, princess! Run! If that old man is supposed to be comic relief, this is gonna be a struggle. I'll just tell him. And if he gets mad, I'll, I'll just straighten him out. That's it. Do we even know if the pig knew how to swim? We don't know if the pig is still alive now. Sire? He already knows you fucked up. It's the pig keeper. He's dead. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, Sire! Did he poop himself? What is that green stuff? Moss growing in through the cracks. <laughs> you were trying. <laughs> Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. ko-fi.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, ko-fi.com forward slash two freckle friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash two freckle friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. Send the Gwithens to follow that boy. My whole need, sire. <laughs> And I flew the phlegm, aim. <laughs> it would be better to sing of our heroic escape. A princess nose thread and needle. I wasn't afraid. We were running for our lives. Well, I got us out of the castle, didn't I? Phew. I'd say it was the sword's magic. But it takes a great warrior to handle a sword like this. Does it? Little bitch like you. What does a girl know about swords anyway? If it weren't for this girl, you would still be in the Horned King's dungeon. Amen. Exactly, bitch. At least I don't keep talking about it forever. Oh, you're so, so 
boring. Ah, princess, I love it. How dare you take his side? <laughs> Silly girl. Even if she is a princess. Mm, that princess can dictate your life and death, sir. <sighs> You think she made up that title? Yeah, you're right because nobody came looking for her. They just they just left the princess in the dungeon. I'm guessing. Which if she made it up, hell, if I was locked up in there that long, make it up. You've sent mixed signals over the years. Are you an African American woman? I identify as black. Hello. Hello. Luda is right, you know. You're going to have to work together, and we'll find your pig. Thank you for getting me out of the dungeon. Oh, but we couldn't have done it without you. <gasps> Mother! <laughs> Gurgy want this. Go ahead. What? Gurgy want. Gurgy. Oh, man, no. fell down. Get up. He's no friend of mine. He's just a coward and a thief. You're a coward. <laughs> and a thief, too. And a thief. You stole that sword. You're a goddamn liar. You're charming. And pungent, too. I'm gonna go get some chips. Trucks. Stop pigs' trucks. Follow <laughs> Gurgy, follow Gurgy. You better be telling the truth. Gurgy not lie. Not this time. Mm. Look at it, hot. Huh? Piggy's footsteps. No lie. Oh, good. They look fresh. Dolly's whirlpool broke again. You better tell King Idaway. We all gonna be in trouble. This is reminding me of the Smurfs now. What's that music, Papa Smurf? Follow me, my little Smurfs. Aren't you all darling? I'm King Idaway of the Fair Folk. How the blazes to get? I told you to fix the whirlpool. I did fix it. It was perfect! Everything that happens around here, my fault. It's my fault the pig's here, too! Henwin? Oh, she's your pig! Oh, good! Oh, Would you hurry and fetch the pig? What is happening? I'm happy you said it. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, Hen! Thank goodness you... <laughs> So they had the pig the whole time? The whole time? The, the whole time? You would the whole time? I guess the pig fell in the elf whirlpool. <laughs> then they fell in the elf whirlpool. We've seen him. And if he finds the cauldron, he'll kill us all. He'll never find it. I I it's safely hidden in Morva. Morva? If we could get to the cauldron first and destroy it. And destroy it? Right. It will stop the Horn King. Morva, but that's a hard place to get to. You can take them. What? Trusting our lives to what? is wrong with me how many of those strings are broken <laughs> henry don't worry we'll get her home safely well if it's the marshes of morva you want it here you are welcome to morva it seems empty maybe we should have a look open hello may i come in must be here somewhere <laughs> They're only frogs, I long we. Those were people! Doogie found the wicked cauldron! Quick, 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 follow Doogie! The whole room is full of cauldrons! Thieves! Thieves! Someone stole all our frogs! Evil. Oh no! What hocus pocus knockoff is this? <sighs> Sisters, did you hear what he called you? <laughs> nice and tender! Stop that, you! Aren't you the handsome one? Don't you find me irresistible? Shush! Stop that! You don't mind if I pluck your harp? Oh! Great feeling! We're going to have toast! Ooh, that laugh and cackle! Come here, love! Can anyone here perform marriages? You love struck witch! She got some big titties. Okay. The fact that this is in a kid's movie? No, look what you've done. He's gone. What's going on here?
And he keeps hiding in the titties? The hell is this a children's movie? We've come for the Black Cauldron. Nobody's asked for the Black Cauldron in over 2,000 years. Perhaps I might interest you in something else. A teapot, a bucket, a jar, a ladder. I've never seen a sword like that. I've got to have that sword. We'll trade the cauldron for the sword. But what can they do with the cauldron, Ordu? Nothing. That's the point. You shall have the black cauldron. You'll give it to us? You weren't listening. What we do is bargain, trade. All right, I know what you want. No! It's our only chance. Here is my sword. You're a moron. I offer my dearest possession in exchange you for... stole it! ...the black cauldron. Agreed. We have made a bargain. is indestructible. The Black Cauldron can never be destroyed. Only its evil powers can be stopped. Then there is a way. But how? A living being must climb into it of his own free will. However, the poor duckling will never climb out alive. It's not our fault you can't do anything with it. Y'all got played. A bunch of blundering misfits. You can go back to feeding pigs. Goodbye. Facts. It's my fault. Yeah. Without my sword, I'm nothing. Yeah. You are somebody. You must believe in yourself. I believe in you. And I think that you. She already had her lips puckered. Grateful to all of you. You've been true friends. Look. Y'all didn't hear them. Y'all didn't hear the roll up? This little bitch animal. What kind of thing is this? You did come for the black cauldron, didn't you? Everything is ready, sire. A pig boy, a scullery maid, and a broken down minstrel. Now I call on my army of the dead. Arise, my messengers of death. Our time. Yeah, even the rats swimming away. That green smoke, that's 1985. That animation is solid. Beloved warriors have come to life. What the fuck are we watching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destroy all in your path. What are we watching? What LSD trip was this? Infantry, Infantrode? What the fuck is Infantrode? What is that? It's all just fucking meaningless words. I'm afraid it'll soon be over for us. I hadn't planned it to end like this, I long we. I wish I'd stayed a toad. My greatest triumph. You did it, Sire. Really, really yucky. Yikes! Gurgi, is that you? Master! Gurgi! Gurgi's sorry he always runs away when there's trouble. He will untie everybody. Good boy, Gurgi. I must stop the cauldron. Please, Taran. Taran, you gone. My mind is made up. Gurgi not let you jump into cauldron. Gurgi not let his friend die. Taran has many friends. Gurgi has no friends. No! No! Don't, you don't mean that. And then you don't move. Did Gurgi just commit suicide? Yes. Something wrong. It can't be. Get her away out of here. Yeah, go in there. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Kill! Oh, the eyes open. Yes. It's the big boy. We've interfered for the last time. <laughs> you have not escaped. You shall satisfy the cauldron's hunger. Put him in there. I'm gonna go explore inside the cauldron.
That was really disappointing. He's gone! <laughs> He's gone! I'll, I'll try to open the gate. It'd be nice he had your sword. I was thinking the same thing. Look out! They just stay falling into luck, don't they? Angry rats? Is a New York City rats. Can't die. Why can't you just die? <laughs> He's got what I wanted, and he's still not satisfied. What do you think you're up to, ladies? We have business with your little hero. The only thing that mattered to you was the cauldron. But now it's no use to you. So we'll just take it and be on our way. We never give anything away. We bargain. We trade. Remember? I adore forceful men. What is your offer? A magnificent sword for a warrior. So what was the purpose of them having the sword then? I'm not a warrior. You're right. <laughs> Most honest thing you've said the whole film. The cauldron for Gurgi. It's not possible. You've got no real power. Admit it. We have made a bar. But is Gurgi alive? Is Gurgi Gurgi? Oh, darn it. I would've took that sword back. Munchings <laughs> 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 and crunchings in here somewhere. You're alive! He's alive! Luda, he's alive! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Let's go home. Happy day! <laughs> you do did well, my boy. Yep. <laughs> Let's give it a freckle scar! Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give the Black Cauldron its official freckle score. I understand why no one talks about this movie. It should have stayed hidden in the vault. I bet you nobody probably watched this until it was available on Disney+. Plus. I love dark, gothic themed movies. But the fact that this is Disney is embarrassing. This was the most expensive animated film Disney produced up until that time. This was the first animated film where they used computer animation. It very much gave me Masters of the Universe Smurfs, but those don't have the resources that Disney had. The books that the writer wrote, I felt as if Disney had a similar issue with this movie that they had with Pinocchio. Trying to put too many movies meshed into one. So you end up having an incomplete plot or you end up having too long of a movie. They were pig farmers. That was the only damn pig that I saw on that farm was that little baby pig. And the movie had a lot, a lot of promise. I did enjoy the animation, but it still felt very dated. I'll give it a two. I'll give it two freckles. Contrary to popular opinion, there's a song by a certain artist that says age ain't nothing but a number. That goes with movies. Check out our review of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It doesn't matter how old the movie is, quality is quality. Brooke said everything I was going to say. Some things just need to stay in the vault. I'm disappointed and I'm glad I don't have to watch it again. My freckle score is gonna be 1.5 out of five freckles. Utter gutter. I can't believe it's not butter trash. Thanks so much for tuning into this latest episode of Two Freckle Friends. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tapping on that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on TFF. The production company that was partnering with Disney while they were making this, George W. Bush was a board member? Oh, of look at the time. I'm going <laughs> to a place nearby. I gotta go. Hurry, time is running out. On January 31st, Disney stopped selling these classic videos. All the thrills of the Black Cauldron. We've come to the Black Cauldron. Get these timeless classic Disney videos before time runs out. Hurry, find this certificate in this Sunday's Parade Magazine, and you can save $10 by mail on any two of these classic Disney videos.